So stress and hormones are closely related to one another. Stress can result in a change in the serum levels of various hormones like glucocorticoids, prolactin, catecholamines, etc. And today we live in an environment where we are constantly stressed. There's work stress, examination stress, physical stress, stress related to family struggles, etc. And all this can result into endocrine disruption and therefore affect the balance of our hormones. So in today's video, we are going to talk about five scientifically proven ways that can help you in managing your stress better and thereby help with balancing your hormones. So if this is something that interests you, definitely watch the video till the end. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Zainab Tajir. I am a homeopathy consultant and psychological counsellor from Pune. I create videos around physical health, emotional wellness, hormonal balance and homeopathy. And if you fancy this kind of content, do consider subscribing to my channel. So hormonal imbalance can result into various complications, right from mood swings, anxiety, leg cramps, to irregular periods, hot flushes and weight gain. So stress is one of the major contributors of hormonal imbalance and therefore it is very important for us to learn with dealing with the stress better and inculcating habits into our daily routine that can help us in managing our stress and therefore have a better physical and mental health. So the first and foremost scientifically proven way that helps with dealing with stress is breath work. So breathing is almost like an automatic response of our body and this is controlled by the respiratory center of our brain. We take almost 25,000 to 30,000 breaths every single day. But do you know breathing has such a great impact on stress levels. So when we are stressed, our breathing becomes shallow and we start breathing faster and this impacts the oxygen exchange that is happening into our lungs. Therefore, deep and calmer breathing has been known to help with releasing stress and to help dealing with stress related conditions. So all you have to do is sit in a calm and comfortable position and be more mindful of your breath. So place one hand on your chest and one hand on your abdomen and take deep breaths while engaging your abdominal muscles and moving your breathing from your chest to your abdomen. So what this really does is it helps you calm down. The one technique that I personally love is the 478 breathing technique which is 4 seconds of inhalation through your nose, 7 seconds of holding your breath and 8 seconds of letting it out. When we do this regularly, it has shown to help improving the quality of our sleep, helping reducing our stress, improve our mood, concentration and it has so many other benefits even including hormonal balance. Therefore, inculcating this habit into our daily routine that is Giving 10 to 15 minutes to mindfulness breathing is very important and can make so much of a difference when it comes to stress management. Now the second thing is gratitude practice. We as humans are hardwired to feel negative emotions more than the positive emotions. So today we live in an environment where we are surrounded by so much of news and social media and there is this constant struggle of comparison and chasing one goal after the other and that puts us under so much of pressure and stress. Therefore, one way of inculcating more positivity into our life is through gratitude practice. So research has shown that when we practice gratitude on a daily basis, it results into a release of serotonin and endorphins into our brain, which are neural transmitters, which instantly elevate our mood and make us feel better. So they are our feel-good hormones, which are so important when it comes to stress management. Therefore, when we do this every single day, it teaches our neural pathways to be more positive and makes us overall be in a better and happier mood. So all we have to do is have five minutes daily where we sit down and write down everything that we are grateful for and that shifts our focus from the more negative towards the positive. Also, it's very important to reciprocate that gratitude. That is by telling people around you about how much you appreciate their presence, about thanking them for the every single thing that they do. And it's only when we give out love is when we get love and that can make so much of it, so much of a difference when it comes to stress management. Now the third thing is including physical activity into our daily routine. So we as humans weren't designed to be sitting in front of a laptop for 16 hours a day. Therefore, when we do this, it releases a lot of cortisol into our body, which is like that stress hormone that is responsible for the fight to flight mechanism. And therefore it puts our body under a lot of pressure and stress. And physical activity has shown to release endorphins, which again makes us feel very good and elevates our mood. 
In fact, in a study, it was found out that even five minutes of aerobic exercise can result into anti-anxiety effects. Therefore, it is very important for us to include 30 to 45 minutes of slow walking into our routine or at least 15 to 20 minutes of high intensity exercise so that it can help release more good hormones into our brain and make us feel more happier and better about ourselves. Now, this does not have to be a chore. You don't have to do it just for yourself, but include any activity that you like, yoga, walking, pilates, high intensity training, strength training, do it with friends. In fact, you know that group exercise has shown to have better effects onto our health rather than working out individually. Therefore, any activity that you love will do, but it is very important to include 30 to 40 minutes of physical activity into our routine at least five times a week. Now, the fourth very important thing is sleep. So when we are sleeping, our body gets the time to reset and restore itself. So in a research, it was found out that people who slept less than five hours a day had higher cortisol levels and constant high cortisol levels has been linked to high blood pressure and cardiovascular effects. Therefore, it's very important for us to have at least six to eight hours of sleep every single day. So again, this releases a lot of serotonin into our body, which helps us feel more better. So it's known to help with improving our concentration, helping us make better decisions because we are well rested, make us feel more focused and improves our productivity. So it's very important for us to make sure that we have a good sleep routine. Now, one way of doing that is to have consistent bed timings. So our body and our circadian rhythm loves routines. Having a consistent time when you wake up and you sleep tells our body that this is the time to sleep and this is the time to wake up and therefore it helps us feel more rested and makes us feel more better about ourselves. And another thing that I swear by when it comes to improving your sleep quality is including chamomile tea. So there's a lot of research backed evidence which shows that chamomile tea helps us feel more rested, has certain sedative properties that makes you feel sleepy and improves the quality of your sleep and therefore if you struggle with sleeping well including chamomile tea can be a great resort lastly having like an elaborate bedtime routine which calms you down can also help you in having a better sleep so having long showers massaging your foot with essential oils dimming the lights in your room and making it a dark and cozy environment so that there is release of more melatonin hormone which can help you sleep better are all ways which will help you develop a good sleep routine Therefore, managing your sleep is another thing that is extremely important. And the last and the most important one is to get more sunlight. Now, sunlight has so many incredible benefits for our health. One of which is again, release of serotonin into our brain, which makes us feel good and helps us manage our stress. Not only this, but our body develops vitamin D through exposure to sunlight. And therefore, 15 minutes of sunlight exposure daily can make so much of a difference when it comes to stress management. And vitamin D has various other benefits, right from balancing our hormones to helping us manage our stress to having strong bones, etc. And therefore, making sure that we are exposing ourselves to sunlight daily, especially early morning sun, can be so, so incredibly beneficial for our health. And this brings me to the end of the video. I definitely hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any queries or questions or you find it difficult to cope up with your stress, including these five simple things into your routine can eventually make so much of a difference in your overall health and well-being and also help with hormonal imbalance. And if you like watching this video, do share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for sticking by till the end. I will see you again next week.